Okay, and it looks like I rolled a one, and um, and he loses one man from Spain. Now he's only got two men and a god in Spain, so suddenly he looks pretty weak, and that's a good thing. Alright, so that's play miracle cards, and the next thing it says is to suffer plague. Well, we go back over here, and we see our two territories with plague. And the game rules state that if you have one guy on there, the plague marker does not destroy him. So you get a minimum of one guy in the territory. It's possible I could have had an army sitting there, and it says suffer plague, and therefore I'd have to cut that army in half. <clears throat> there are some miracle cards that allow you to move the plague marker onto an enemy territory like that, and uh, that would immediately, when the time came to suffer plague, he would lose not only his gods, but he'd lose half his men. So that could be quite devastating. So that's suffer plague. And see, the next thing it says, invade territories. All right, so this is it. So we're ready to invade. So um, I take my men from Gaul, and we make the invasion of Spain happen here like this. And we bring our gods with us. <clears throat> the game rules state, just like in Risk, you have to leave one man behind. So that we do. So basically we got, it uh, looks like nine men and two gods invading Iberia here. Alright, so, um, so now uh, we begin with the gods war because we have two gods in the same territory. So we do have to determine which god will vanquish whom here. And um, so let's see. Let's go ahead and start a god's war here and figure out who wins. So let's see here. Uh, as the attacker, the Norse, uh, we just pick one god um, to fight his god. Okay. And um, so we immediately, each person, each side in a god's war gets three dice. All right, and uh, let's see here. Uh, if you have the god of the sky out, which the Celts do, they get an extra die. So we grab another die for them, and we get four dice to our three. Doesn't look too good. Um, however, uh, let's see, we do have a large army which we'll be adding to it, and they only have two, so we'll see if this works or not. The last thing we check, uh, we go over to the Underworld, and whoever has a altar in the Underworld, which is this, um, let's see, oh yeah, this thing right here, uh, looks, like the, looks like a desk with two candles, that is an altar. If you have an altar, you get a, another die to roll. But neither of us has an altar in the underworld, so this is it. So now it looks like the Celts in defense have more dice than we do. However, we do have a large army to add to the total number that we roll. So I'll go ahead and roll for the Norse here. And let's see what we get. All right, looks like we got six, three is nine, and two is 11. I have nine men invading, so that gives me a total of 20 in the God's War on my side. So the Celts go, and they're going to roll their dice. And let's see, they get three, four, seven, one is eight, two is ten. And they only have two men over here for a total of 12. So it's 20 to 12. The Norse win. The God of the Sky is vanquished and he is kicked out of Spain entirely and back to his pantheon as you see here. All right, so that was a victory for us. And uh, since we didn't have the God of the Sky out, we don't get a, uh, a free card for that. The labor for the God of the Sky is to defeat one God in a God's War and I don't have him out so I don't get the card, unfortunately. All right, so now we have a regular battle. So now we go along the lines of a traditional risk game, and uh, I will throw three dice for since I'm the attacker, I get three dice. The defender go, gets you know two or one dice depending on what he wants to do, just like in a traditional risk game. 
and I will throw my dice. I got a four, four, and a two. He's got two guys. He's going to throw both dice just because he just wants to. And he gets a six and a one. Now a six uh, for the defender is pretty unbeatable, unless, of course, the attacker has the God of War out, which the Norse does. However, the Norse did not roll a six. <laughs> he did roll two fours, however, so each side loses one. So, just like a traditional game, um, we remove one. Um, since the Norse does not have the God of Death out, um, uh, the Norse casualties go to their respective heaven, right here. And, unfortunately, for the Celts, the God of Death is out for the Norse. And they get thrown back into the pile here, and not into the Underworld, where they could gain more points. Okay, so now we roll again. Alright, looks like it's pretty lopsided now. Go ahead and throw the dice down. I got a six, a five, and a two. There's no way the Celts can def defeat that roll since I have the God of War on my side. He rolled a six, but the God of War is on my side. I beat the tie and win the battle. And back to his little pile he goes. Now I've got Spain. There's much rejoicing. And we continue on. Uh, I could go through here, through Atlas, into Africa, but I don't want to lose my armies or my gods. So I will just go ahead and continue on into uh, Atlantis from Spain. So I'll go ahead, I have to leave one guy behind, and uh, I'll, bring, I'll bring seven guys over, why not? This time I'll leave the God of Death behind, and I'll just take the God of War. Yeah, you know what, what the heck, I'll just take them both. And let's see, let's go ahead and roll for that. Notice there is no god in these territories other than mine, or the Norse, and so there's no god's war. <clears throat> so it's just a regular risk game in, in that sense. But all the advantages are to me, or to the Norse, and so we roll. I got a 655, five. that's pretty decent. And then he rolls, and he got a 1, so he blew it. And so um, the god of death is out, so he does not go to the underworld. So my guys continue on. And well, why not? We'll go ahead and go on into that one territory called Poseidonus on Atlantis, the make believe world of Atlantis. And we'll roll the dice. And oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I gotta bring the God of Death with me. I leave one guy behind. Now I've got six men in my army. But that's all I need. I roll my dice a five, three, and a one. And the Celts roll. Oh, they got a six. They take out one of my guys. My guy goes to the underworld over here. And uh, I get to reuse him later. It's kind of nice. And now I have to roll again. I got an elephant over there, which represents five men. And uh, let's see what I come up with here. Oh, I got a six. That's He's gone. Oh, he rolled another six. But I have the god of war, and I win the tie. So there you go. And now, whoops, he's over here, sorry, since the God of Death is out. And as you can see, I kind of swept in. Uh, I gained three territories. I got